Get out. Uh, excuse me? Get out of the business. They don't want you in here. This is a public place, ma'am. Do you guys want him trespassing the business? Let's go. Yeah, go jail Wait, wait. I, I'm leaving. They're kidnapping me. Look at this. They're kidnapping me. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, I am asking we the people to come together for one of our own. This picture was taken the day of my trial in Berwyn, Illinois. Richard, his wife, and their brave daughter Trinity were there to support me in the fight against tyranny. Now, I am asking each and every one of you to support him in his. Richard and his family were at the United States Post Office located in Belvedere, Illinois, when a supervisor, ignorant of our rights, told them they needed to put on masks even though the mandates were no longer in effect. At this point, Richard began filming, which as we all know is our constitutional right. The supervisor then called the Belvedere Police Department and that's when tyrant officer Casey Brox arrived on the scene. Please hit the like button, comment down below and share this video so that the tyranny you are about to witness can be exposed to the world. Let's get into it. That's not a law, number one, number two, and five. Sorry, uh, not gonna happen. Let me see, you got poster seven? No. No, you gotta have poster seven. They took down poster seven? Look, it's not in here anymore. Oh, wow. It used to be down here. Are you gonna tell me they don't have poster seven here? Oh, wow. It's a public place. It's not a private place. Yeah. No, we. No, unless you're going to refuse my business. No, 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 no. No, please, please don't call the police. You don't want to waste her time. She's the one that's you don't, my business. Definitely don't want to waste her time. They got better things to do. We're we're in a public accessible area right here. Is, is this a private place or is this paid for by the by the taxpayers? Okay, that's you. That no, the, the requirement is for federal employees. As, in fact, you don't have to wear it anymore. It's it's up to you. Okay, Why would you sir, want to wear it? If you want to continue, I will call the police. You do what you feel you have to do. Okay. You want to get educated today? Okay. You'll get educated today. Sir, you're actually not allowed to record in here. Um, uh, sorry, ma'am. I am. This is a public accessible area. Okay. Well, um, I'm just letting you know we are. I'm talking to the police right now. That's okay. Okay. Um, I have no problem with that. This is Kayla. The um, officer will be here shortly. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you. No problem. Ma'am, you can't refuse us any business here because we don't wear a mask. Not a mandate no more. The governor lifted the mandate. First of all, the man, the man, the mandate was wasn't even for us. It was for you guys. You guys are the employees. You guys are the federal employees. We're not federal employees. This is not. This is not a state issue. This is a federal issue. Hello. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, excuse me. Get out of the business. They don't want you in here. Get out. This of the is business. wait. I'm. A, uh, this is a public place, ma'am. Do ma you guys want him trespassing the business? No, ma'am. You don't. You want him trespass. That means he can't come back. Ma'am, you're gonna trespass me from a pub. This is a this is a pub. That's fine, but I'm being orderly, ma'am. It doesn't matter. Go. You're gonna trespass me from here. Go. Okay, you're gonna trespass me from here. Go. Okay. You heard it. You have it on video. Okay. That means don't. Okay, that's fine. I'm being totally orderly. You guys, hey, you guys want to violate my rights? That's fine. I'm all. I'm. Are you saying I have no? Off the whole property. Are you saying I have no business? You are trespassing. Get off the property right now. Okay. Badge number. Four oh four. Go. You'll have a report. Go. No, no, no. I will remove you if you do not leave the property now. That's fine. She's touching you. Get out of here. Ma'am, please don't touch me. Get out of here. Don't touch me, ma'am. That's your last chance. That's fine. I need his badge number, name. Let's go. You're gonna go jail. Wait, wait. I'm leaving. I am leaving. You are not leaving. Wait, I'm not resisting. Okay, okay. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Right there. Okay. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's fine. That's fine. You want to arrest me? That's fine. They're arresting him. I'm on a hey, hey. I'm on a public area. I'm on a public area. Public area. 
public area. You see, you see what happened. Conducting business, public area. This is fine. I've done nothing wrong. Totally ordered. Totally ordered. You guys are being disorderly. You guys are tyrants. You guys are tyrants. You guys are tyrants. You're being very disorderly right now. I've, I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. I'm on a public area, accessible area. I'm in a public accessible area. You can't, you cannot, you cannot evict me from a public accessible area. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a civilian, I'm a taxpayer. Come on, seriously. Come on, I'm relaxed, sir. You're the ones who are being disorderly. You guys are attacking me. You got a gun in your team. You don't have a gun in my You got, you got a gun. Sir. I can't get up. I'm handcuffed. I need some help. They're kidnapping me. Look at this. They're kidnapping me. They're kidnapping me. I've done nothing wrong. What's your badge number? I have totally relaxed. What's your badge number? Get other badge number. What is your badge number, please? Let's, let's back over here. No. no what no, no, is no. your badge you number, please? Back up or we have, a, have them in custody. We'll be more than happy right, to talk to you. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You need to back up. No, don't touch me. You need to back up. Back up. Please, please, please back up. Please back up. No, don't touch me! Move back, please. Move back, please. Thank you very much. Okay, he is being arrested. You can come up to the Stop barking at us. Stop! You're threatening me! How am I threatening you? You're walking towards me! Stop threatening me! No, you are walking towards me. Stop threatening me. Okay. You can go now. Bye-bye. Thank you. You know where the police station's at? You can come to come up there. Every one of you. What's your badge number? I am 52, Officer Moore. Your, your depart what's your position? Really? Yeah, we know about the thin blue line. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah, right you don't. Sure. Damn, I didn't get it. I got it. Did you get all of it? Yeah. Yeah, so I went in. No, I want badge numbers and names. I want badge numbers and names. I want the whole report. I want them now. Go ahead. Come on, we gotta go. They're pushing me. Come on. 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 I'm gonna go. <laughs> Trini? No. They don't have a right to push me. I'm not letting them push me. But you can report it's just you can't be walking up. No, really? You guys have threatened me. What is your position? I told you. 401. Detective Barillo. Detective. Come on. Right. Okay. Be a police report. You get all the information. No, I don't need no, I got what I need. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge Richard's daughter, Trinity, for displaying such bravery during a traumatic incident such as this one, exercising her rights in the face of tyranny, immediately picking up the camera and recording the incident without fear. We the people are so proud of you. Second, let's be clear. Richard is not an auditor. He is simply a man who peacefully stood up for the, his rights and the rights of his family. For that, Richard is now facing a total of eight misdemeanor charges, three counts of resisting arrest, one for each officer, two counts of criminal trespassing, and three counts of disorderly conduct. Originally, he was charged with only one of each, but when he refused to plead guilty, the state's attorney, Robin Babcox, added on five additional charges, which seems really suspect to me being that he wasn't guilty of the original three. Richard was representing himself pro se, during which time he was being taken advantage of by the corrupt criminal justice system. Richard was not given any discovery material to take with him because Judge Smith feared he would post it online. That same judge was having ex parte communications with the state's attorney. Thankfully, Richard is now being represented by James Jenks, the same attorney who represented me for my Berwyn, Illinois case. Richard is not guilty of any of these charges he is currently facing. The only guilty parties here are the tyrant officers who not only escalated the situation, but also violated a man's rights and traumatized his daughter. In fact, Officer Brox was so wrong, an internal affairs report found that she should be disciplined because of her actions during this incident. We also cannot forget the corrupt state's attorney, Robin Babcox, and Judge Smith 
for allowing this injustice to continue. I, for one, will be using the public information located in the description of this video to peacefully petition my grievances to my government. Always remember, it is your First Amendment right to do so. I will be staying in contact with Richard and his attorney, James Jenks, so stay tuned to the channel for further updates. Let's pray that all charges against Richard are dismissed immediately. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.